Okay, I just retrieved my iPhone 5 from the mailroom. Look at this. I got my delivery notification on the web and I ran right down and got it. So this is a true unboxing of the iPhone 5. It has not been touched straight to me from Verizon. Let's open it up. Of course, this is the day I left my knife at home. Let's take it out. Ba -ba. I have a return label just in case. You never know, I might hate it. Ooh, wow, that's an odd shape. <laughs> Look how long and white and skinny this thing is. Like that's, it looks like a tampon. Here we have uh, a black one also to compare. So on the white, the anodized aluminum silver, and then on the black, it's sort of this black. Now there've been a lot of questions about whether this aluminum covering is gonna scratch and reveal this sort of silver underneath. We are gonna try to find that out in our torture test. Right off the bat though, it's much lighter than the iPhone 4S, but it doesn't feel quite as solid. Like when you, this is like machinery. This feels much more, although that is sort of the trend in these lighter phones. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3 is equally light, but it's funny to hear all these iPhone 5 people talking about their huge screens. This is a 4.8 inch display. That's a huge screen right there. Let's go through setup because this is actually my personal phone. I bought it on my personal account. So let's go, let's do this. Next. All right, that worked. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do restore from iCloud backup so we could be here a while. Uh, but at least we'll know how well that works. This is what's really interesting. It doesn't seem to have that super premium iPhone feel. It feels kind of light. It feels a little more tossable. And although I know that this is a 16.9 display and I'm looking forward to watching some video on the sort of 16.9 retina display, this long skinny screen, at least right out of the gate, is not that impressive. Okay, so I'm happy to see it is still coming with a wall wart. We haven't gone completely, oh, right. How could I forget the lightning dock connector? Silly me. Now, one thing that is gonna be nice about this cable, I do admit, is that you can put it in there in any direction. It's kind of an idiot proof cable. Let's check out these headphones. This is the first time I have seen these. They are super futuristic. Every time I see these on the web, they, they give me kind of a um, Kubrick, Stanley Kubrick feeling. This is hard. All right, let's try them out. They sound okay. They sound pretty good, actually. They block a lot of outside sound. Like, I don't know how loud I'm talking right now. They feel like they might come out because there's not, you know, they're not resizable at all. They're kind of big. Like, I have slightly small ears, so they're not the most comfortable things ever. I was picturing an extra row of apps sideways. I don't know why. I don't know why that somehow the idea of the bigger screen made me think, oh, like Galaxy S3 screen. But I guess I'm just gonna get an extra row down here that apparently I'm going to have to manually rearrange. That is lame sauce. But everything's there, my wallpaper, all my apps, you know, iCloud. It certainly is easy to transfer from one to the other. Ooh, let's check out the camera though. Take a photo. Hi, so -so. All right, so camera quality, obviously great. Let's try the panoramic mode. Okay, so you find it under options here at the top. Options, panorama. It has handy guides, see? It's a pretty idiot proof pano. <laughs> oh geez, I moved it. Oh, this is hard. Oh, so I only have to press it once. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Stupid panorama mode. The hell? I just want you to know this has never been a feature that I've been that into. <sighs> I did it. Let me just say, if you're looking for a reason to buy the phone, that's probably not it. Uh, let's search for an address here. Let's do our current location to Half Moon Bay. Starting route to Half Moon Bay Coastal Trail, Half Moon Bay, California. See, that's nice. That's all right. I mean, it sounds like the maps are gonna be terrible and I don't know why they can't just use Google Maps because they are in fact the best, uh, but it's gonna be very nice for people to finally, at long last, have turn-by-turn -turn directions built in. That has been, Frankly, an unacceptable omission. Although if the maps can't be trusted, it won't really matter. All right, quick first impressions. It is definitely thinner, it is definitely lighter, and the screen is definitely longer. I am 
a little disappointed that it's not wider, even though I guess I should have realized that. It's sort of a surprising shape. It seems fine. It doesn't feel quite as cool, quite as premium as the iPhone 4S. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe it'll grow on me. I am impressed again with iCloud and how easy it's become to transfer from the cloud because that was another Android feature differentiator. It's really nice and easy to move from iPhone to iPhone now, so that's a good thing. I don't know, it's like iFine. I find.